Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we've got some pretty exciting news from the Nixos world. The developers have officially released Nixos 25.11. And honestly, this one's a pretty major update. So Nixos 25.11, codenamed Zentusia, arrives about six months after the 25.05 release and it's packed with new tech. It's powered by the Linux 6.12 LTS kernel, which means long-term stability right out of the box. Now, one of the biggest highlights is the desktop environment support. You're getting the latest GNOME 49 experience, which is super polished. And for those of you excited about System 76's work, yes, the Rust-based Cosmic Beta desktop is officially supported too. That's a huge step forward. Another big change is that NixOS 25.11 now includes firewall to support, you can use it as a standalone firewall or just plug it in as a backend using the existing networking.firewall options. And for boot management, they've added support for the REFIND graphical bootloader along with secure boot support for the Limini bootloader. Now, um, moving on to some of the deeper system improvements, this release brings in Nixos rebuild end which is basically a full rewrite of Nixos Rebuild in Python. There's also a brand new backend option for networking.firewall, giving you even more control. And this might disappoint some KDE fans. Nixos 25.11 removes all Qt 5 based versions of KDE Gear, Plasma, Maui, and Deepin. So users should fully migrate to KDE Plasma 6 and KDE Gear 25.08 going forward. They've also introduced Nixos init, a Rust-based, a completely bashless initialization system for system initiality. This is designed so Nixos systems can be built without relying on any interpreter at all. That's pretty cool stuff. The toolchain has also been refreshed, bringing in LLVM 21, GCC 14, and CMake 4. And on the application side, things like SyncThing 2.0.0 and PostgreSQL 17 are included. One thing to note, starting with this release, the network manager module no longer ships with default VPN plugins. So you'll need to manually specify any VPN plugin you want in networking.networkmanager.plugins. As always, there are tons of new services and tweaks under the hood. So if you want the full technical breakdown, check out the official release announcement. If you want to try NixOS 25.11 yourself, you can download the live ISO images from the official site. GNOME is the default desktop for both x86 64 and ARM64 systems. And there's also a minimal ISO if you prefer to build from scratch. So yeah, that's the new Nixos 25.11 release, a pretty big one packed with uh, modern tech and forward thinking features. Let me know what you think in the comments and um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this helpful.